Welcome to Over the Garden Fence and another episode of the Mariposa Master Gardener series on how to propagate and care for California native plants. Today we're going to take a look at California buckeye, which is probably one of the least appreciated of all of the California native trees, mainly because it spends more than six months a year in a state of dormancy. It's often mistaken as being dead as it sits leafless among other actively growing plants in the summer and fall. But this long period of dormancy is actually an amazing evolutionary adaptation that this plant has acquired in order to survive the difficult growing conditions of our hot California summers. Despite its long period of dormancy, I still think California buckeye is an interesting addition to any garden because it's drought tolerant and it's varied seasonal interest. For instance, in the spring, it's the very first to leaf out while all of its surrounding plants lie in dormancy. It has beautiful, fragrant spring flowers, and even after it drops its leaves in the summer, it has a handsome structure and silhouette, as well as silver gray bark. In the fall, it produces a large, unusual looking leather-like fruit that ultimately drops out a large, glossy brown nut that is so pretty that is often used in fall floral arrangements. Let's go take a closer look at this unusual California native tree. Asculus californica, or California buckeye, is a single or multi-trunked deciduous tree or shrub in the Saponaceae family, more commonly known as the soapberry family. It's sometimes called horse chestnut because of its nut similarity to those of the American chestnut tree, although they aren't related. It's native to parts of California and southern Oregon and grows on dry slopes and in canyons in the Sierra Nevada foothills and coastal ranges below 4,000 feet. It grows in sunset zones 3 through 10 and 14 through 24 and can reach up to 40 feet high and just as wide. As mentioned in the introduction, California buckeye is the first plant to leaf out in the late winter or early spring with apple green palmate leaves that mature to a lush dark green. It produces fragrant candle-shaped flower clusters called panicles in white, cream, and sometimes pink that are attractive to hummingbirds, native bees, moths, and other native insects. The flowers are a particularly important source of nectar for migrating butterflies. Each panicle holds many tiny flowers, but only a few have a functional pistil, the female part of the flower, so that those are the only few that produce fruit. As the late spring and early summer begin to heat up, usually around July, the tree drops its leaves and goes into a state of dormancy in order to survive the summer heat. In the fall, the pear-shaped, pale green, leathery fruit begin to appear, eventually splitting open to reveal the beautiful brown nut. It's important to note that all parts of California buckeye are toxic to non-native honeybees and all mammals, with the exception of ground squirrels, who feast on the nuts with no problems. This is also one of its evolutionary strategies to protect itself against browsing wildlife. California buckeye is extremely easy to propagate, simply by planting the nuts either into a pot or directly into outdoor soil in a sunny location. They're fairly quick growing, need little care, and aren't picky about soil. They require little to no watering once planted, as long as planting occurs in the fall just before the rains begin. Leaves will stay on the tree a bit longer when the weather warms if some water is provided. The California buckeye can be a wonderful addition to any home garden when worries about children or pets consuming any of its parts is not a problem. Its seasonal interest of changing textures, colors, and shape, not to mention its fragrant flowers, make this unique survivor really something to admire. <music>